big fan of the show. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. High five, baby. Nice, nice. Thanks, it's thanks. so funny. Oh, my goodness. You think so? Yeah, okay, yeah, good, yeah. good. I'm glad somebody thinks it's funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, your character, and correct me if I'm wrong, it seems that the impression I get is uh, Avocado is, like, very tolerant of Gary, but, you know, like, oh, why did Gary have to be like Gary all the time? <laughs> right, right. Well, uh, Avocado, he, come, he has that checkered past. Yeah. And... And he's always had these barriers, you know, mistrust, pain, all these things that's happened in his life of who he's been around and what he comes from. And hey, thanks for watching, by the way, guys. Uh, and, and so having someone that's chiseling at that is what Gary's doing. Exactly. Right. And so finally, I guess there's, there's that point where he finally hit the heart. And so there. I don't want to do any spoilers for the show, but there's a, uh, a spot in episode two uh, where he has to make that decision. Does he go for what his primary goal and mission has been with his son? Don't want to do any spoilers. Yep. Or does, which would probably lead to absolute death. <laughs> <laughs> or does he probably have a chance that living in the moment right now and for a guy that's kind of helped him. What, what should he do? So watch episode two and you can get those answers. But yeah, he's definitely had those barriers that this guy's chiseled away at. And I think that's the beauty of Gary and, and, and Avocado's uh, Avocado is relationship. And just for you guys out there, it's Avocado with a T, baby, D. not a D. <laughs> <There you> yeah. <laughs> that's now, cool. Um, a lot of shows out there. This one, you know, the, how it came to be is very unique. You know, from an internet filmmaker, and then it premiered on Reddit, yep. and then, you know, Conan even, Conan O'Brien even promoted it at one point, and TBS picked it up. Man, yeah, how, yeah. right? How, how, does, yes, yeah. <laughs> how, does it, how does it feel for you to be part of something so unique, the way the birth is? To put that in words, it's, um, it's really challenging because the feeling that it, it's just... It's so magical, you know, because yeah. I've, I've known Olin Rogers, which is sitting over there. That's why I'm looking there. But um, uh, to 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 know him from where he's started to where he is, and to be, be on this journey with him from the YouTube realm, that it's a, it's another avenue, I think. And, and 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 if anything, I think it's a a great way of sh showing people live life and, and, and go after your dreams if you want something in life create you you want to be a filmmaker or, uh, or animator or anything just do it and take the avenue and go for it and don't stop dream as big as you can ron perlman before i worked with ron perlman in this cast okay i see him at the gym I, I met him at a millennial entertainment party and he told me he said look man uh, you're in the world of dreams here. Because I picked his brain for a few moments. I won't get into it. But he, he, he said, dream as big as you possibly can and don't give up. All right? You're in the land of dreams here. You got it. You can do it. You can do anything. And, and, and that's just, I, I think, this Final Space is an example of, of that. And for me, as, a, as an actor, to be a part of a cast like this? Oh, my God. You know what I mean? <laughs> what? Really? I mean, but I, I, I really do owe Olin a tremendous amount of credit for this because... Yes, I've put the work in, in, in my career, my, laugh, uh, my life, my career to, to really deliver when opportunities come. But he has fought for me from the beginning to, to, to have even had an audition, okay, for Avocado. And he fought for me with TBS and, and they, they said, okay, we'll give this guy a shot, whatever, you know, this is the creator, okay. <laughs> and fortunately, uh, they let me audition. So we did an audition uh, tape, and Olin read with me on it. And I guess the chemistry was there, because we're in real life. We're really friends. Mm -hmm. And so uh, they, re they listened to it. And uh, I mean, it, it took a little time. It wasn't immediately. They were like, yeah, we're going. Because they could, I mean, it's TBS. They could have had anybody they wanted, right? I mean, <laughs> great cast, anybody. Um, but uh, Olin surprised me that one day. Um, it's still rolling. All right, o Olin surprised me one day. Oh, okay, okay. We're, I'm hearing beeping here, okay, guys? That's, that's what that was. I thought I, was, I couldn't end it rare. Uh, but yeah, and, and Olin surprised me with a video. Uh, well, Olin surprised me um, saying that you're the voice of Avocado. 100%. I was just like, <gasps> and I was like, yes! Well, this is like, really? And, but even then, it, it took a few, few days sinking in. And look, in this industry, you kind of, you know, hold things tight because sometimes things can change. Exactly. But, um, yeah, so I just, I held on it for so long. I wanted to tell so many people. 
uh, my kids and all that. And uh, but yeah, most importantly though, my kids love it, and you know, my kids enjoying the show. And it, for me, it's it's really that like, for the kids because. As a, as a um, hopefully I'm not rambling, no, okay. but something with Final Space and what it no. feels so that I can't really put into words is this: that mm. as a kid, I moved around a lot with my with my mom. She was always searching for best, better things in life, and all I had was these VHS of like, mighty uh, of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or I had cartoons, or I had these TV shows. I had the Last Action Hero. I had these movies and things that helped me keep dreaming and helped me keep imagining. And, and I've always just wanted to be a part of things that do that for other kids and do that for other young adults that just have that mindset of better life and, and, and everything. And, and I feel like Final Space is a great example of that, to give back to a young youth or to, to, to keep dreaming, to, for, to be inspired by guys like Olin, to go after whatever it is you want in life. You can do it. You can do it. Don't stop. Congratulations on Final Space. Yeah, thank you so yeah. much. Oh, my God. Um, Gary is quite the character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a little out there. Yeah, yeah. So I talked to uh, Cody, you know, Avocado or Cato. It's like, you know, on the brink of, like, being frustrated with Gary. He's like, oh, but yeah. he's tolerating Gary. How do you how do you keep up with such a character? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's, he's – it takes a lot of energy to, to do Gary. Um but I think, you know, the, always the idea was to start him off in that crazy place. He's eccentric and insane. Uh, and then by episode 10, you see him, you know, become more of a human again. You know, he's like more grounded and more, uh, more I don't know, just there, you know. But he has a lot of heart, you know. That's that's the thing about Gary. There's, there's always that heart to him. Now, and he's also persistent on Quinn. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, definitely. A little bit. Um, Is it going to pay off? I don't know. You have to see. You have to see. But I think I think you'll be surprised. It doesn't end up the way you think it does. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So um, this, when I first start out this uh, the episode one, the plot synopsis is like uh, Mooncake and Gary on a on, to unlock the mystery of the ends of the universe. Are we gonna get to that? I mean, is it gonna be answered? Yeah, yeah. You're definitely gonna get. Um, well, I mean, probably in the end of season one, you're going to have a lot of questions, okay? Mm. Um, but the, the great thing about that is is it opens it up for more seasons, you know, and, and more of an adventure. Um, but you definitely will find out, you know, what lies in Final Space. Nice. So i got to ask you this. You are, this this whole thing is a result of an American dream story, yeah. right? Internet filmmaker, yeah, yeah, yeah. got promoted by Conan O'Brien. <laughs> I mean, it got uh, uh, the Final Space, I think, premiered on Reddit, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's such a unique, the birth of Final Space, you know? It's not like any other show. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I mean, great. I mean, it's it's definitely something that I always dreamed of and, and hoped for. And, you know, I did YouTube for a decade hoping for a chance. Yeah. And uh, it came, you know, after 10 years. And I think if I knew, you know, that just how that would have happened, I would have done it much sooner. Um, but, yeah, I think everything happens for that reason. And, and I don't know, just a lot of hard work, yo. Well, so what's your advice to YouTubers like me and everybody else, uh, other yeah. YouTubers out there that don't have Conan O'Brien around? <laughs> well, the thing is, I didn't, I didn't have Conan O'Brien for, for 10 years, yo. <laughs> um, and it was just me just kind of going out and making stuff that I loved and wanted to, to see. And um, I think with any YouTuber, it's like you want to kind of create what you love, you know? And if you love doing entertainment news, if this is it, then you keep doing it, you know? And eventually you'll you know, somebody, the right eyes will see you and then they'll be like, then you have, so, then you have your own Conan O'Brien, you know? 